Do you want a better future for you, your children, your pets? Do you want a student who is experiencing both welfare and sustainability issues during their time at university? If so, vote for Sam for Welfare and Sustainability between the 7th and the 9th of March 2022. And if you weren't sold by that, here are the points which I hope to persuade you by. Hello, my name's Sam, and I'm running to be the next Welfare and Sustainability Officer. So, this was supposed to be really short and sweet, but um, it didn't work out. So, this is going to be a bit longer than the usual videos. Um, so, if you're interested, bear with me. But if you're not interested, and you just want to find out exactly what my points are, you can see everything um, from my manifesto points to my experience on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, so, that's under Sam. Uh, for welfare and sustainability. For Instagram, that's even more than one word, but Facebook, that's split apart into individual words um, because of uh, the character limits, I'm afraid. Um, but if you if you want to speak to me more directly, you can invest me on those, or you've got my email at the end of my manifesto. Or if you see me asking about throughout the university, don't, don't grab me, but um, feel free to talk to me. I'm more than happy to have a chat, have a ramble. Uh, I'm very good at that. So I have many points um, that I'd like to introduce, both that cover several aspects of welfare and sustainability. Um, but the big ones that I want from the university are two new funds. Um, the first fund is a cost of living fund, so I don't need to tell you that the cost of fuel, the cost of food, the cost of everything has increased significantly over the past two years, and it's not our fault that that's happened. Um, and unfortunately for some students it's going to be too much, especially as we come towards winter. So I want to set up a fund to make sure that these students are uh, able to access finance. Because at the moment, the financial services that the university provides don't include cost of living. And I don't think that's fair. I think that some more, uh, more should be put in place for those sorts of students. The other funds I'd like to create is an unpaid placement fund. So I myself did an unpaid placement in my third year, which was really beneficial. So my degree is in archaeology, um, but I had no experience in archaeology before coming to university. So doing this unpaid placement allowed me to find out what I wanted to do and where I wanted to, what sector I'd like to be in following my degree. Um, and I feel like that has really benefited me in several aspects. The hamper is that my student finance was cut by a third and I had to find over a thousand pounds just for my accommodation alone and I was in uh, I think like 84 pounds per month uh, per week accommodation for living housing and fuel and like uh, wi-fi included so the issue I found was having to juggle between the two unpaid placement size sizes to do as well as my uh, job at Uni Central, where I served chicken and chips, um, and I just feel that this could have been. This, there's a definite way for the university to afford to give students the opportunity to go into these hard-to-reach sectors, especially if, if they haven't had any sort of experience beforehand. So, aside from pestering the university to hand out money, I want to save you money in other ways. So, the one way I want to do this is by having local meal kits. So, partnering up with a local food source, uh, I want to create a variety of different me uh, meals um, for both students and alumni, which, have, which are very easy and affordable to make, and they're also very nutritious. Um, so the meals are one of the most important things um, of the day-to-day -day life, and if it's nutritious, if it's affordable, and if it's helping the circular economy, that is a win for everybody. So the other thing I really like to do is I want the university and private accommodation to be better when it comes to things like insulation. So for far too long, many of these accommodations have come at the legal minimum, which is band D. Uh, out of, I want to say it's A, maybe A, even, even A+. Plus. This isn't good enough. I mean, it's been snowing. I've been frozen many times in this house before, uh, and with the cost of fuel going up, I can see that this is going to really disproportionately affect students uh, in the coming winters. So I want 
both the university and private accommodation to do better when it comes to insulating their houses and making sure that the students are as warm as possible um, without having them having to break the bank. The last aspect of the welfare policies that I want to enact is um, for the university and the SU casual workers to be better treated. Um, so I've both worked in Unicus and at Coffee Grabs, which is where some of you may recognise me. Um, and although both the managers, I've, all the managers I've worked with and all the staff I have always liked, I've had no issues with them, it's the policies and the higher up uh, rules which are more of the issue. Um, so I want to make sure that the SU and the university are the best places for students to work and so then we're able to go to other areas outside the university which have uh, students who are working there and tell them to be better basically because we need to lead by example we need the SU and uh, the university to be the best place for students to work. Now for the sustainable side um, so I'm really I'm ridiculously passionate about this. Um, I have both been your Chair of Sustainability Committee this year, as well as your Ethical and Environmental Councillor, and I've done a lot of work this year regarding making sure that the university is as sustainable as possible. Um, you know, I still like to drag the heels, but that's why um, I'd really like to carry on working uh, to help move them into being better. So the two big things that I'd like to do in sustainability is I would like there to be a continuation of the moving away from these bad companies so we want to move away from fossil fuel companies we want to move away from arms dealership companies and we want to move away with these com other companies which are investing heavily within these sectors I mean you can look at the state of the world we're in now things need to be better and we need to be better about who we're putting our money in the other aspect is this idea of education for sustainable delivery. So back in 2019, uh, Vice Chancellor Karen Lambert said that he wanted uh, sustainability to be embedded in every single course by 2024. Um, and if you're one of the courses that has sustainability embedded in it, happy days. However, there's still a lot to go. And this isn't a midterm that is in first year that can be done three hours before the deadline. This needs to be done better. We need to make sure that this is actually developed and fleshed out properly so that because this is the information that's given now is going to shape how we interact with the world later on. And if we don't get it right, the climate crisis isn't going to be addressed or solved anytime soon. So the final point I'd actually like to do is something that I've seen outside the SU and it's in places like Brewdog where you look at the food menu and you see that they've got carbon counts. I really like this idea um, and I'd like to see carbon counts on food in around the SU outlet. This is not to put the blame on you because that's not the case. The, case, the fact of the matter is these large oil companies and these large corporations are the ones which have been the cause of the climate crisis and they've known about it, they've opted not to do anything about it. However, by enabling these carbon counts within food for food sources, you're able to start to understand how your uh, food and how your lifestyle impacts and how we need to start thinking of cost not just in financial terms but also in carbon terms. So, as you can see, all of these are big issues and they need a big person to solve them. So, between the 7th and the 9th of March, please don't forget to vote for a Sam 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 Green Giant. Thank you for listening. Take care.